and of Neanderthals linked to flip of the Earth's magnetic poles. According to a new study, the flipping of Earth's magnetic poles together with a drop in solar activity 42,000 years ago could have generated an apocalyptic environment that may have played a role in a major event ranging from the extinction of megafauna to the end of the Neanderthals. This is what researchers find. The Earth's magnetic fields acts like a protective shield against damaging cosmic radiation and solar radiation, but when the poles switch, as has occurred many times in the past, the protective shield weakens dramatically and leaves the planet exposed to high energy particles. One temporary flip of the poles, known as the Le Chant excursion, happened 42,000 years ago. It lasted for about a thousand years. Previous work found little evidence that the event had a profound impact on the planet, possibly because the focus had not been on the period during which the poles were actively shifting, researchers said. Now scientists say that the flip together with a period of low solar activity could have been behind the vast array of climactic and environmental phenomena with dramatic ramifications. The author of the study said, it probably would have seemed like the, the end of days. This is what Professor Chris Turney, University of New South Wales, co-author of the study said. The team had collectively termed this period the Adams event, quote unquote, a nod to Douglas Adams, the author of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in which 42 was said to be the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything. Writing in the journal Science, Turney and his colleagues described how they carried out radiocarbon analysis of the rings of ancient kauri trees preserved in the northern New Zealand wetlands, some of which were more than 42,000 years old. So this allowed them to track over time the rise in carbon-14 levels in the atmosphere produced by increasing levels of high-energy cosmic radiation reaching the Earth during the Le Champ excursion. As a result, they were able to date the atmospheric changes in more detail than offered by previous records, such as mineral deposits. They then examined numerous records and materials from all over the world, including from lake and ice cores, and they found that a host of major environmental changes occurred at the same time as the carbon-14 levels peaked. Turney said, we see this massive growth of the ice sheet over North America, we see tropical rain belts in the West Pacific shipping, shifting dramatically at that point. Then also wind belts in the Southern Ocean and the drying out in Australia. The researchers also used a model to examine how the chemistry of the atmosphere might change if the Earth's magnetic field was lost and there was a prolonged period of low solar activity, which would have further reduced Earth's protection against cosmic radiation. Ice core records suggest that dips in solar activity, known as the Grand Solar Minima, coincided with the Le Champ excursion. The results reveal that the atmospheric changes could have resulted in huge shifts in the climate, electrical storms, and widespread colorful aurora, as well as the environmental changes potentially accelerating the growth of ice sheets and contributing to the extinction of Australian megafauna the team suggests they could also be linked to the emergence of red okra handprints, the, suge and the suggestion being that humans may have used the pigment as a sunscreen against the increased levels of ultraviolet radiation hitting the earth as a result of the depletion of the ozone. They also suggest the rise in the use of caves by our ancestors around this time, as well as the rise in cave art, might be down to the fact that underground spaces offered shelter from the harsh conditions. The situation may also have boosted competition, potentially contributing to the end of the Neanderthals, Turney Express. Now, the Earth's magnetic field has weakened about 9% over the last 170 years, and the researchers say another flip could be on the cards. Such a situation could have a dramatic effect, not least by devastating electricity grids and satellite networks. Richard Horn, the head of space, weather, and atmosphere at the British Antarctic Survey, who was not involved in the work, said, the chemical changes in the upper atmosphere predicted by the study 
chimed with what had been measured at Halley Research Center, Center Station in Antarctica during strong but short-lived events in which energetic particles were emitted from the sun. But could the environmental effects have been as severe as the team predict? Maybe not as extreme, but it gives you pause for thought, said Horn, noting that it was unlikely the Earth's magnetic field would disappear completely. Dr. Anders Svensson of the University of Copenhagen, however, said the ice cores from Greenland and Antarctica do not show evidence of any dramatic climate change that occurred around the time of the Le Champ excursion, but that did not rule out in ha it having an impact. Changes, he said, in the ozone layer and the impact of increased ultraviolet radiation on humans is not something we can confirm or eject from ice cores. Chris Stringer, who studied human organs at the Natural History Museum in London, said the work was important. He said the greater use of caves as shelter was plausible, but that the link to a rise in cave art was less convincing because paintings of pigs were apparently being produced in Sulawesi in Indonesia well before the Le Champ excursions. The authors also make a link with the physical extinction of the Neanderthals about 40,000 years ago, and I think it could certainly have contributed to their demise. But they did survive longer and ranged more widely than just Europe, and we have a very poor fix on the timing of their final disappearance across swaths of Asia. Dr. Richard Staff, a research fellow at Quaternary Geochronology at the University of Glasgow in Scotland, said the study was exciting. He noted that it could lead to further investigation into the environmental and evolutionary effects of other larger dramatic downturns in the Earth's magnetic field strength further back in time. This is by Nicola Davis of The Guardian. It's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.